Supreme Court once again completely changed 250 years of America's understanding of what it means when we hear the phrase, no one is above the law. According to the High Court's latest banger, a 6-3 vote on party lines, of course, so you know it's probably the wrong decision. The MAGA judges voted that President Trump does have immunity for official acts, even if they do break the law. I think Biden might want to look into that SEAL Team 6 argument Trump's lawyers used to convince the moronic MAGA judges on the Supreme Court. We think it is a good idea to give the most powerful person in the world immunity from criminal acts. This sure sounds like someone who is definitely above the law, which means a president who doesn't care about the people or the country could essentially run America like a family business, where he and his closest circle of family and friends will receive the best America has to offer, while the rest of the citizens still have to fight day in and day out for every minuscule personal victory at a job, school, or in society. And then when it comes time for blame because his policies of working over America for the benefit of his family and sycophantic friends didn't yield prosperity for all, the scapegoating of the left, immigrants, and science will be to blame as to what is holding citizens back from achieving their dreams. The Supreme Court has fundamentally changed our country from taking away the first constitutional right ever to our children and families' safety and security being decided not by professionals in their field of study, but by an elderly judge out of touch with science and research. This is all about taking power away from the people and giving it to corporations and the wealthy, disguised as Supreme Court decisions. And it is all being driven by this twisted propaganda about conservatives and religious voices being silenced and the courts needing to step in and protect the vulnerable Christian and conservative communities. This is why Roe needed to be overturned, and Trump needs immunity because they are trying to silence Trump, and that is code for trying to silence Trump's base. MAGA conservatives and the king of my problems are really your problems, Donald Trump knows that if they frame their personal, legal, social, and financial problems as a problem their base will soon face, if they do not obey a list of demands to keep Trump and his MAGA goons in power, like vote or harass judges and prosecutors or the FBI or Congress people or gun violence survivors or trans people, anyone that's LGBTQ, and don't forget, rather be communist Russia than a Democrat. If Trump were to snake his way back into power with the Supreme Court now clearing the way for a president to commit terrible acts, and if caught, Trump could just say it was an official act. I needed to sell the Russian government the location of our allies because I was able to make the best deal ever in the history of our country. Not even the purchase of Alaska was as good of a deal. Just look at how Trump has cut corners and at best had run his business unethically and according to court documents, defrauded the state of New York. Do you think someone like Trump, who was willing to risk his father's legacy, his own business, and his family and children's future trying to save money on taxes, would have any hesitation on defrauding Americans when the Supreme Court gave him legal license to do so? He has never exhibited restraint, even when the possibility of consequences were present, but now with no law, no court, no office holder will be able to tell Trump, no, Mr. President, that is illegal and you cannot do that. And that is what I am afraid of, considering the people Trump surrounds himself with. They only care about people who look, think, believe, and act like them. And those are the only interests that they will serve and cater to. And the goal of figuring out how to remain in power if Trump and his cronies succeed in the takeover of American values and the way we live our lives.